And here we go, Super Saturday from the capital. And it's Matt Frawley starting. And Imre Gula starting as well. So Josh Papali'i yet again, same as last game, coming off the bench. That was uh, that worked to great effect. As we see Jordan Rapina work it forward. So we've got Sebastian Chris hanging out on the wing at the moment with Joey Tarpanet up to the 30. Zach Wolf at the dummy half. Corey Horsburgh, one of many stars that night at Suncorp against the Broncos. Now Tarpanet goes up for a second hitter. That's customary for him. This is a great atmosphere here. I hope it's coming through those speakers loud and clear. And Bruce Walsh. And even the away fans, just uh, the noise level goes up. So Ricky stuck with Jordan Rapiner at fullback. Seb Chris is playing left wing, Jack White and playing left centre. And Matt Frawley playing at 5'8. It has been, Brandy, a long, long time since Jack White played in the centres at this level. Now a wild one. Brisbane. Oh, no, Rhodes. Put camera. out here. A shocking Off pass camera. from the Broncos, but Kotrick has parried it into touch. That's so fortunate for the visitors. Well, he had a grab at it, Kotrick, but just couldn't pull it in. And he's pushed the ball across the sideline. Here's the ball from Ezra Mam out in front of everyone. Across the face of three players, Kotrick gets his hands to it, which will see the Broncos with the ball back. I, I, I think it's almost 10 years since Jack White has played centres at club level. Mm. Mm. Broncos, uh, sloppy start for them, looking for a seventh straight win, but this now gets them going as they get ready to put this into touch. We send it down to James Hooper on the sideline. Evening, Dan and Brandy. How good's this? The Raiders and the Broncos currently 12 degrees in the National Capital as that penalty kick lands very close to my sideline microphone. Uh, Jack White, and he has signed to play centre for South Sydney next year. So an interesting play from Ricky Stewart here. And on the crowd, Dan, uh, they are still coming in. The record is 24,700. I think they'll give it a nudge. Thank you, Hooch. Yeah, he comes Payne Haas up to the 40, as you can see there. Here's Keenan Palacia starting for Carrigan. Walsh almost slices through. Then the floater for Oates inside the 20. Good pass Rapina, but the cover there from Tarpanet. But Brisbane off and running. Now Man off to Flegler, keeping it going for Madden. Here's Walsh on the right this time. The jack in the box gets away from Frawley. And then Frawley comes back with the help of Emre Gula and also Elliot Whitehead. Canberra being asked questions early. Haas to a flat-footed Palacia, and he's driven into the ground. That's Fogarty, the halfback. Last tackle. Man. Awkward bounce. Timikov puts it down. First one off, Matt. It's going to be Brisbane First ball off, via a scrum. Well, a couple of things gone their way now for the Broncos. Kotrick up the other end of the field, putting it out. Just watch Reese Walsh. They're coming off a 50-point win against the, the Eels, slicing in between the Canberra Raiders defenders and throwing a great lofted pass out to Corey Oates. What a danger he is, Reese Walsh. Yeah, unfortunate here. Timiko just got his hands to that kick. Cleaned up by Staggs. Dangerous situation here for the Raiders. So Madden, the last time he started in the halves of Brisbane, they went up to Townsville, had a most impressive victory. There's Walsh getting funny of it early. And then a little, little facial there as well. Walters feeding to Palacia. Walsh on the right. Comes to Madden. Now Walsh, there's the pass. That's just beautiful. That is a delight. Sebastian Christian. Selwyn Cobbo walks it to the try line and it takes the Broncos less than five minutes to get on the board. Well, we just highlighted a Reese Walsh play in the previous set where he got in between a couple of Canberra defenders uh, as he was going to ground, was still able to find Corey Oates. This time out the back of Jock Madden, drags in the defenders, throws a perfect pass out to Selwyn Cobbo and that's as easy as they come from the for the big winger. Walsh just eyeing things. 
over the top of two Brisbane players in support. Cobbo, no one in front of him. And Brisbane strike first, Dan. No, uh, they are the, the, the try scorers, and that's his 14th. Oh, that's his 17th try, mm. Selwyn Cobbo. And you look at the 104 that they have scored now this year, and that is more than any other team in the competition. The number three, Katoni Staggs, 11. Herbie Farnworth, 13. Selwyn Cobbo, 17. Ezra Mann, 13. Yeah. And, and looking here, that's the 23rd try assist for Reese Walsh. So he continues to ratchet those numbers up. And the kicking here with Katoni Staggs. It's an underwhelming percentage, and he doesn't get an easy one here to start. And what we're to do... Didn't look like he struck it perfectly. It still almost went through, but no goal. Brisbane four, Canberra nil. What about the form of some of the fullbacks in the NRL this year? Yeah, Dylan Edwards, the consistency of Dylan Edwards in the top two or three players. Every time Penrith run out in the field, Reese Walsh, what a breakout year it's been at the Broncos. And you've got Caelan Ponga, who has steered the Newcastle Knights to seven straight wins. But Reese Walsh, brilliant start to the game. We'll see Ponga tomorrow. What a game that is. Another sellout in Newcastle. Newcastle Cronulla. That's the second of two. Canterbury mainly to start us off. But that, that's a belter at 4 p.m. Canberra here, an early wake-up call. It does have to be said. There were a couple of little breaks there the Broncos got, but they are the, just about the best at taking advantage and punishing a team for a defensive error. They won six straight. They've won them by an average score of 37 to 16. They've been shellackings. Tom Flegler is warming back into proceedings after that foot injury, which threatened to wipe out his season. But here he is getting some game time before the finals. Palace has made a solid start tonight. And that's another completed set. As Walsh goes high, and Mam is sprinting through, trying to put pressure on Rapida. And man times his run to perfection. Cameron now on their heels. Timico barely over the 10. The Broncos haven't won down here in a long, long time, but boy, they've started well. Yeah, it's a very confident start from the Broncos. Great chase and anticipation on the tackle there from Ezra Mann. Awesome. Teammates just testing out the limitations here of the play the ball speed. Much to the crowd chagrin. Tapping it. Just outside the 30. With Whitehead getting it. And that will bring an end to this set now once Boot has put the ball. Fogarty. Oh, that's a that's a high deep one. Man in the matching round six to Mal Fogarty. Oh! That is an extraordinary error. That is a shock. Every now and then a fullback will decide to throw in, and the pass was perfect. Oh, yeah, boy, you what? From the angle we had. Well, let's look at it front on where we'll get a very clear view of what happened, unless Matt Frawley's legs get in the road. He lost it, juggled it, and then I thought controlled the ball, got his arm underneath it. Well, if Fox Ultra is not going to show a knock on, nothing will. But not bothering to challenge. It was an incident worthy of a knock on, but legally it probably wasn't. And Canberra get a gift opportunity in the centre. Jack White taking on Staggs and giving him trouble before Staggs comes back. This would be something if Canberra could hit straight back after that. Cracker of a start from the Broncos. Tarpana the decoy. Pause for the recipient. Oh, Rapana cut in half. Man is on a defensive mission tonight, and we've seen this from him before this year. He can put on some strong tackles. He yeah, doesn't quite get a hold in Tarpana. Canberra here, pinned to the 10 metre line. 
that's a tackle. That is a tackle here that jolts the ball free from Jock Madden. So the Raiders don't really, don't really provide too many challenges in that set. Well, defensively, Brisbane have started the game just as good as they have with the ball. We've seen an, a, a couple of Ezra Mam shots, and this one, the other half, Jock Madden, just some pressure out of the line there on Matt Frawley to force the error. So both the halves having excellent defensive moments for Brisbane. It is nowhere near as cold as it could be. Broncos might have uh, dodged a bullet this time yesterday. It was much colder, but uh, listening to some local radio coming in, they were warning the locals put it, put some extra gear on. And when they do that, when they tell the locals you might have to rug up, you think it's going to be absolutely freezing. But the cold weather so far has held off, still in double digits. Palacia. Uh, that's a good run from Palacia back into Canberra Raider territory. Walters with plenty of room to move and steaming onto a Flegler. Then he adds to it with the offload. Madden spots an opening. Bruce Walsh keeps it going. Stax puts it down. Oh, it's still exciting. It is still so intoxicating the way Brisbane plays rugby league. What an improved player Billy Walters is. Out of dummy half then off the, the good run from Palacia. Brought Flegler onto the ball. The offload, the passing there from the Broncos, and Katoni Staggs will be disappointed with that. Ball came to him, snatched at it, puts it down. The pressure off the Raiders, and there was some on them. There is just never a time the Broncos don't think they can do damage. I'm taking some notes there, Ricky. Typical. Campbell's most consistent this year. Oh, up by Horsburgh. Made his origin debut in game three. Billy Moon! Short side play. Another origin player, Hudson Young, with the offload. That's no surprise. He's their top offloader, Hudson, with Gula going to ground. Top. So the tactic again, Papa Lee coming off the bench. It worked a great effect last week against the Bulldogs. And the search for more consistency through a game for the Raiders. And a, a new set begins here as Whitehead. Well, that's a set restart on play four. This will test the Broncos. A good field position again for the team in green. With Wolford just happy to carry it up on two. This is... The white side, but it doesn't get to him. Oh, that's a very late offload, and it's play on. Horsburgh has got rid of it here, and it just caught a couple of Broncos asleep. And just wake up in time. Fogarty on the run. The neat pass, Whitehead. Gets it back somehow. It's snatched by Fogarty. Another play down the middle. Tarpany, and again, easily contained. The chip kick here, and a, oh, it should be a try. It's come down. Chris had a crack at it, but it's a penalty to the Raiders. It's a penalty to the Raiders. Well, you're right, Selwyn. Dobbo missed the ball completely. Set Jack, Chris, Jack, I think, was put off by Selwyn Cobbo. Made it a tough take, but certainly a chance there for Seb Chris. He misses the ball completely and falls into the, the lap there of Seb Chris. But with Selvin Cobbo in, in the air and in front of him, he couldn't get side of the ball quick enough. He balked him without meaning to. Oh, Horsburgh. I'll have to watch his late, late offload now. Not this time, though. Really working the middle over with Emre Gula this time. Must Headbutting the goalpost back to the left side. Fogarty with the dummy and just holding on here, Jordan Ricky. That's a good one on one tackle there, Jordan Ricky. Have to be both that. Rubbing it, tucks it under the arm. Try line just in front of him. Last play, Fogarty. 
favoured his kick and Walsh tries to put his body in the way that's coming out for a 20 metre tap. Oh, that is that is a great defensive period for the Brisbane Broncos. Well, the quick tap was taken, but he, he said no. I, I don't know why. He didn't have any players in front of him. Normally, Fogarty gets these kicks right, but not this time. As we look here. Oh. And Fox Ultra Vision again. They just defended 16 tackles. Well, they are the, the second. Broncos without touching the ball. A set, a set that started right around halfway. It was a set restart on play four. They then defended two complete sets. Well, you've got Penrith historically good defence, but Brisbane's number two in the competition, 17 points a game. But you kind of forget that just because you get caught up in the excitement of what they do when they've got the ball. Madden for Walsh, early ball stags. Went through White, but the ball came out there. The tackle affected also by Frawley. So another Brisbane error. So White now over halfway. So plenty of uh, ball at this southern end at the moment. Sebastian Chris and Frawley dumping off Horsburgh. Well, if they're looking to base their game around their defence, they're getting plenty of practice at the moment, the Broncos. Fogarty. Whitehead threatens to pass, then goes himself. With Bam and Farnworth combining. Rapina a dummy half. Is it sent out here to Gula? Gula getting in plenty of work with this, this starting roll. His sixth run. Last tackle. Need a result soon, the Raiders. The high one towards Cobbo and oh, jumping way too early, White. And Cobbo this time comes down with it. And no, it's happened again. Staff puts it down. Comes to Timical. Timical might be best not to score here because Brisbane thinks something happened in the tackle. Here's Rapana. Rapana now shovels it on. They're desperate to keep it alive. White. The remarkable defence there from the Broncos. Well, they, they had, well, they had players coming out of the defensive line to get in, involved in the blue between Tony Staggs and Horst. That was Staggs' area where, where the ball was held up. Wow. But still more pressure. Six more. No more. Now it's Tarpany. Yeah, Reese Walsh was incensed after the ball was lost by Staggs, thinking that something illegal had happened. Now, the crash play again is stopped. This crash play, they've got the answers for the Broncos. Fogarty, wide in on the end. Oh, yes! It's Matt Foley! This time they give it a bit of width, and finally they get their first try. Oh, we've got something tonight. Four points apiece. The Broncos have just made 30 tackles. Uh, while they couldn't hang on to the ball, they've made three successive errors. And the, the Canberra Raiders finally just wear them down and they get them on the edge with a great offload and Frawley hitting some space. He's played two as they try and bring the ball out of their own end. Hudson Young makes contact with the ball. He's hit with a shot, but the ball had come free already. Fogarty, Whitehead gets in behind Farnworth and that creates a, the space there for Matt Frawley to run onto the ball. Just sheer weight of possession. The Broncos not able to get through their last three sets, turning the ball over around halfway. That one from Katoni Staggs on his 10 metre line. And a hell of a lot of defence from the Broncos, and they finally crack. Last 10 minutes, Canberra's had 70% of the ball, and you've got to think most of it's been on the try line. They've now had 21 tackles inside Brisbane's 20. We're not even a quarter of the way through the game. Well, they've made 34 more tackles, the Broncos. And that's, you know, that's five. That's nearly six completed sets that they've had to defend. You've got to and think. And the Raiders that, wore them down. You've got to think that's got to take, that has to have taken out 
some energy from these Broncos. There's a lovely kick. So Canberra for the first time are in front. Six points to four. We just saw that big shot on Katani Staggs where the ball was knocked loose, but he's actually just been put on report. And it is for an incident involving Jordan Rapana only moments ago. So Katani Staggs on report. That's a great play from the Raiders, Mr. Fixit there in Matt Frawley. 28-year-old Belconnen United Sharks Jr. That's his second try in six games this season. And he chalked up his 50th NRL game last week. Indeed, Hoops. And when White was brought back in along with Sebastian Chris into the cut down team of 19, the thinking was, well, probably Frawley would make way either on the bench or, or out of the team entirely, but at the number six position and getting a try. And they're still coming in here. I think we've got just about got everyone now that is going to be here tonight, but there were some big cues out, out the back of uh, and we are. Mal Meninga stand as Emre Gula first to bring it back. So the Raiders will reply. They had to reply and they have after conceding that early try to Selwyn Cobbo. There's a strong run from Whitehead, the man that provided the pass for Matt Frawley. Out it comes for Horsman. Frawley, Shuttle, Young into Ricky. With the help of Madden. As Gula gets it to halfway. Set complete. As Fogarty oh, does get some distance and height on his kicks. And that's pinpoint. That's got Oates in the corner. And he's doing a lot of this. A lot of tough carries for Corey Oates in game number 200. Here's Cobbo. Oh, Frawley down low. Big tackle that. Cobbo was threatening. But Brisbane. They don't take too many settlers. They're always searching. Farnworth rolled over. And Young just a little too vigorous. This wouldn't, wouldn't get up. It's slow. Don't bury your head in. Oh, that's disappointing for Canberra. Easy out now. And already reasonable field position after the run from Farnworth and Cobbo preceding that. So Brisbane here. Looking for their second try. And that is just the 11th tackle they've had in Canberra territory. They're efficient when they get down to this end. Flegler will want to offload, but three in the tackle. Man. Pass. There's Rappin around the legs. That's a lost ball. That is a lost ball. Brisbane no, making some uncharacteristic no, errors tonight. Six from 11 now completions. And in that department, they're off kilter. Well, they are, Dan. Great start to the game. But in the last 10 minutes, they haven't been able to complete a set. They've been under enormous pressure. They've given up a try. And there's the spill there from Payne Haas as he... Tries to put the ball on the ground and use that as leverage to get up. Here's Big Papa ready to come on. Well, this would be this would have been the plan for Ricky. At least hold serve with Brisbane and then get Papa Lee into the game midway through the first half. Whiten down. So that's that 2014, the last time officially in the centres for Canberra. Sebastian Chris coming back from a hand, both he and White back from hamstring injuries. And that's a heavy tackle there, dropping Emre Gula. Man, again, he is such a good defensive player. He's got to be amongst the best among the halves in the game. Well, I heard him talking early this year, and he said, oh, what I had to do was work on my defence, and that's what he did all off-season, work on his defence, and he's become a, a very good tackler. Technique's great. He really showed it off in Townsville a few weeks ago, and he's done it again tonight. Here's Cobbo. Lewis Brunilli got up beyond a point that would have been a problem, but that tackle, fine. So 23 minutes gone. And the 
indications here this is going to be tight and tough the whole way, just as it was at Suncorp in round six. Well, they're sitting at just over 50% completion rate. The Broncos will be desperate to get to a kick in this set. Just settle things down a bit. Oh, Poor penalty. Against Canberra, this is where they've let themselves down at times tonight, giving away penalties. And same part of the field. They get out to the 40 and they've been given a, an easy ride into, into Cam Canberra territory. So three penalties now to one. Get another chance. Palacia. Flegler. Look good tonight, Tom Flegler. And the flick. Palacia. Capewell. No look. Farnworth scurries away from Contrick. And Whitehead. Was, oh, careful. Contrick tried to bash that out. And he almost did. And then also trying to rip it out is Tarpanek. They're very good at the steal, the Raiders. But Farnworth strong. Haas had to reach out in front of him. Still almost bumps his way all the way to the line. Walters, man, the grubber, ricochet, Patrick. Well, he's come up with a couple of big plays. Patrick in now Tim McCall. This has got the crowd going. They want a penalty as Timical gets rid of it. And now it's softened along the ground. This is getting loose. Babali'i. Might have been. Oh, is he offside there, Kotrick? Anyway, it comes away now for White. And he's playing with the touchline here. This has been a very ordinary set from Canberra. Now, again, we've got a little bit of push and shove, but Canberra getting very iconic. Well, he tried to get on the outside, Jack White, and, and just didn't have the speed to go around, but he kept going, and he was getting awfully close to that touchline. Katoni Staggs chases him. And he well, it flicks him into touch. Yeah. Gee, that's a, that's an error that they didn't need. The Canberra Raiders. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's that's good sportsmanship. Play the ball. If that's what it is, maybe it's a little ironic there, but we'll take it. That that'd be good. Uh, I, I don't know how Ricky's feeling about it. No. But uh, the Stags has made a couple of boo boos, so that'll make him feel so much better. Brisbane again, set up camp inside the 20. Flegler, loose, man. That pass did him in, so he'll just take the tackle with three to work with. Walsh in the middle. Flegler for Madden. Now it's Walsh. Walsh with footwork. He stags and stags strolls through. You can see it coming a mile away. Now there's arms raised from the Raiders. But our referee says it is a try. No one was obstructed. That's just too good. Yeah, I didn't see many problems back on the inside. And Reese Walsh again, the speed, the footwork, the in, away, back in. Just had the Raiders just watch him put his foot down here, in away, and just drags two defenders in. Jack White and forced to come in, which left the space there for Katoni Staggs. Brilliant play again. Look, holds the ball. Whiten has... Frawley was beaten. That's what forced Whiten to come in. Walsh was too quick for Matt Frawley. Got around him, and Whiten was forced to come in to make a defensive play on Reese Walsh, and that created the space for that man, Katoni Staggs, who hung on to this one and scores Brisbane's second try. It's those first few steps of Walsh, isn't it? It's just that speed. It's electric. It, that speed, it's it's too much. And you don't have to run far to get an idea. He only ran five metres then, <laughs> but the speed of that five metres had two men in all sorts of trouble. So there you go. First time he scored against the Raiders. 12th for the year, which is the most he scored in a season. Broncos back in front. This one a little closer in than his uh, previous shot. And that one again, gee, starting him out wide, but this time he tucks it in. Broncos 10, Canberra 6.
It is proving a deadly combination as we get closer to the finals in September. The Brisbane Broncos, electric fullback, Reese Walsh and Katoni Staggs, the 24-year-old Wellington Cowboys junior. That's 12 tries in 23 games now. He is back in career best form under Broncos coach Kevin Walters this year and he makes up for the error where Hudson Young was able to knock the ball loose and he had a big shot on him, put on his own line coming out of the Broncos territory. Yeah, what a great shot that was, Reese Walsh. And, and you just saw the trouble that he caused for Matt Frawley on the inside. We we'll picked the right game to... Uh... Pull out the Fox Ultra. There's Brisbane now. Get off the ball. Back in front. With Jordan Ricky. Gee, it's gone quick this first half. Less than 12 minutes to go. Tom Flegler. Every run tonight has had punch from Flegler. Still gets the offer. There were four in the tackle. But this time it's the Noah Vale with Walters taken immediately. Flegler dummy half. Haas again. He's got Wolford in front of him. Wolford just stands there and plants his feet and puts his body in the way. And does well. So Madden putting boot to ball on the last. And a bit of pressure there. White and we're in a perfect line to block Ricky out of it. Yeah, well, they've had trouble completing sets, but that was a beauty off the back of points. Travelled 60 metres before a good kick. Sebastian Chris there took it, but he had nowhere to go. And now Kotrick, this is what Kotrick does. Very good metres from out the back. Finally won his spot back. It's been a frustrating period for him. There's now Young rounded up. Walters, the man that was rushing up there, truly sees it and ran. Fogarty goes for a wobbler, and Walsh wants no part of it, but it's a kind bounce for Oates. Corey Oates yet to you know, sort out his future 2024 and beyond. And, uh, I think he'd be just glad he's back on the field there. 100%. He's, he's had a, a wretched season, played a couple of games, missed half a dozen, played one, another month off footy, played four, another month off footy, yeah. and returns for 200th tonight. Okay, another oh. knock on. Now, is Cable going to challenge this? You shall come forward. Boy, they've made that mistake a few times now. And Canberra, again, Provided with uh, terrific field position. The 10 seconds long gone here. Really? Yeah. Maybe Capel's planting a seed for further down the track. He thinks that the Raiders are getting away with a fair bit. Well, no challenge. You can understand why when you saw the replay. Here's <laughs> <laughs> Matt Timico from the scrum. Well contained. So Brisbane scored first, Camber replied, and then Brisbane went next. Right hand again. Here's Kotrick down the sideline. Kotrick's gonna bash his way to the line. It's Nick Kotrick. He's back, and so are the Raiders. Again, it's Whitehead's pass, but Nick Kotrick had so much work to do. Now, it's a big price to pay for the Kirk Capewell era. The Brisbane Broncos trying to work it out of their own end. They come up with another mistake. And Nick Kotrick down the sideline. He's made a strong start to the game, Nick. Come up with some big plays defensively and with the ball. Short side, Jordan Rabiner. Brilliant stuff from the fullback. Just skips on the outside, drags in Ezra Mam. And then Nick Kotrick down the touchline. Had a bit of work to do. Just watch Kot Rabiner. Yeah. Little overs play, Elliot Whitehead offloads through the tackle. Missed by Herbie Farnworth. And just some late footwork there from Kotrick to get on the inside of Reese Walsh. But it was Rabiner who did the work.
Creates the space, Elliot Whitehead. The low tackle from Corey Oates certainly didn't help things. Need to wrap the ball up. Fend from Kotrick. Then left foot back on the inside of Walsh. Tough defensive play to make for the fullback on his line. And Nick Kotrick squares things up. In a very confined space as well, all that action. We've got a random Cronulla guy in the crowd. That's next week. Canberra versus Cronulla up in Sydney. Raiders, though, they're going well here tonight, right in the thick of this. Just his 11th game this year. He had the hamstring problems. He was then left out. Albert Hoppawati's had a terrific 2023. Jamal Fogarty to put them in front. And again, staying out right this time. Much like Staggs, but without the curl. And 10 all. Tight ball game feels about right with seven to go in the first half. Yeah, still plenty of time left, Dan, but uh, Kevy will want to get his, his boys in and say we, we can't keep making these errors and offer, offering chances to the Canberra Raiders. They're good enough to score points. Short side play. Jordan Rappiner saw that there was a chance. So Brisbane have triggered the interchange for the first time. The front rowers, Palacia and Flegler, are off. And uh, Jensen and Hetherington into the game. How Croker will be used will be fascinating if he is in this game. Oh, no, Canberra's made a mess of it. He's tiptoeing fully. Did he stay in? It's not going to matter. He's gone. He's, he's stepped over the back. Shot clock on. Well, he actually, he actually took the ball from outside the field of play, yeah. from over the dead ball line. Right. He's, he, said, he said he's got one. So it was an drop awkward out. kick. They couldn't catch it on the full. Well, he's left from the outside he's left the field from of play. <laughs> you see what he's trying to do, but the problem is he started from outside. And, uh, well, there's nothing he could do. That, that was messed up before it got to him. Oh, boy. One step forward, one step back. Now the Broncos with Jensen carrying it up. Hetherington. Well, the story when Brisbane have been on the attack, Reese Walsh unstoppable. Haas, man this time with the neat pass with Capel wrapped up. Hep, rather, uh, Wolford there and with uh, Mariotta's in the game. Back inside it comes for Jensen. Horsburgh. And again, Mariotta and Wolford combined. Six more tackles as Walsh ventures out to the right. Man's going to go himself. Man is going to get there. It's Ezra Man. That's four games in a row he scored. And Brisbane don't take long to hit back. It's you score, we score, you score, we score, then, then you score. Well, what a strike rate they got down this end of the field, Dan. And they, they got the set restart but didn't need it. Ezra Mam just saw some lazy defence on the inside, bit of footwork, and beat a couple of defenders on his way to the try line. Here's the kickoff from Reese Walsh. It was an over. It, it was like he topped it. It was like a golfer tops the ball. It bounced awkwardly. Gee, Matt turn. Yeah, Matt Frawley. You're right. The damage was done before Matt Frawley got involved in it and just one off the ruck. Ezra Mayer, big space there between a defender, that's Mariotta, and the play the ball. And all it took was someone with a bit of speed and footwork to grab the try. Gets Mariotta going sideways, back on the inside of him, and too good for Horsburgh. Horsburgh gets to him, but can't make the tackle on Ezra Mayer. What a player he's become for the Broncos. So 14 tries for him. You ran through all the big try scores for Brisbane. He's one of them. Stags, easiest kick of the night. And again, the crowd is silenced. Broncos now 16 points to 10. And as Ezra Mam, he's been doing his best work tonight in defence. But whoa, there he goes. You don't want to give him a chance close to the line. But th this kick from Walsh, let's see the turn on it. But we don't, you can see there, it has, it has 
it's a, it's a worn leg break. Uh, and the fact that it didn't go high then made it really tough for those players that were standing in the in goal area where you have to stand to take it didn't go high enough for them to get there on the full it bounced before they could get to it so let me ask a naive question you kick plenty of footballs in your lot can you make a ball do that on purpose is that would he have practiced that well you can you can give it that unorthodox shape and make and, and then it's with the gods it's with the footy gods where it goes yeah the key don't let it bounce Tomorrow, big day, Fox League. You've got the NRLW, then you've got the Bulldogs and the Seagulls uh, from Accor Stadium. And then, house full again. I believe it's the first time uh, two sellouts in a row in Newcastle. It was unbelievable last week for the South game, and it should be rocking again for the Cronulla contest. Plenty on the line there. Newcastle still haven't locked away top eight, but... Uh, they're flying at the moment. And then the Matty John show straight after that. So it's a, another big Sunday here on Fox League as Hetherington gets it beyond halfway. Oh, Madden under pressure. Did well to get rid of it. Hallsbrook almost got there. And here's a beautiful don't argue from Rappiner. And now he gets going and dragged down from behind by Staggs. He didn't like the force of that tackle. So that's a nice moment, it's Jordan Rappiner. Here's White playing in the centres. Kotra getting involved in the middle. It's a good set so far. Papali Eve. Oh, what a pass of Fogarty. Hudson Young. He gets past Moss. And Young, when he goes galloping, he is so hard to put down. Just when the Broncos score their third try, and, and they did it with ease, you think they're going to be too good for the Raiders tonight. But this play from Jamal Fogarty was brilliant. Bit of footwork to beat a rushing defender and then find Hudson Young on the outside. What a reply from the Canberra Raiders. What a game we've got here. Hudson Young flying onto that pass there from Fogarty and running 40 metres to score a try, beating Reese Walsh in the process. But look at the move there from Fogarty. Brilliant stuff. His opposite was out in his face and it was Jock Madden trying to cut down the time of Jamal Fogarty, but Fogarty's footwork was too good. And the skill on show tonight. How good. Well, when Jamal Fogarty was at the Gold Coast and came to Canberra. Well, there was that perception, wasn't there? Traffic cops. Good, steady. Good ste he's steady player, good kicking game, can steer the side around the park, but he's, uh, I, I think over the, the couple of years that he's been at the Raiders, uh, we've seen him come up with some pieces of brilliance that you know, just separates him from that, that halfback that's got a good kick and a good pass. Well, the fact that Ricky trusts Fogarty enough that he can put Whiten out in the centres, says he, he really believes in this young player, Jamal Fogarty. Off to the, uh, this is normally where I say the Clive Churchill studio, but I'm looking over at the southern end uh, towards where Jamal Fogarty is kicking, and that's where the crew will be for the half-time. Kick is good. We're tied again. 16 all. And the big crowd here is getting value for money. There's Madden flying out of the line to try and shut down his opposite number. Hudson Young, he's a footballer. He's uh, part of the New South Wales side at the start of the Origin Series. And there it is, Brisbane, then Canberra, then Broncos, then Raiders, then Broncos, then Raiders. The longest gap there, 13 minutes between a Broncos try and a Raiders try, so... All three times Broncos have scored. That's going to be... Is it too big? Is it too big? No, it's a line dropout. Second time in a row. And now the Broncos 
are going to get a play here. Why, why didn't Matt Frawley put his foot on the line and touch the ball? That's bounced inside. That's in the in goal area. Field goal, Brandy. Is that the plan? They'll run this clock down, but there should be about, I guess, 15 seconds left. Oh, all he had to do was put his foot on the line and touch the ball. In a, in a moment of confusion, Matt Frawley forgot the rules. So, well, maximum two plays, but probably one. Maximum distance on this kick. Oh, that's a great kick. <laughs> and now, unless someone's got a 50-metre kick in there, oh, it's, uh, that's going to end the first half. You can't sleep on this game. Something seems to be happening on every single play. And some are standing here at Canberra Stadium. This has been a hell of a first half. 16 points all. The Raiders and the Broncos. As we've told you and as you've seen, a big crowd here. They wait with anticipation. Boy, they've been loud tonight. Here we go. Second half. Potentially defining 40 minutes for the Raiders season. And the Broncos can still win that minor premiership. They're in pole position if they get the job done tonight. There's Jordan Ricky punching it forward. Kobe Hetherington into Whitehead. Whitehead, some magic passing from him. Think about Rich Walsh's try assist. Whitehead, couple himself. Pass with a strong run. Oh, that's a wonderful way to start the second half. From Big Payne Haas, Corey Jensen. Punching out 100 metres a game this year for, Bronco, for the Broncos. He's been very effective. Lots of metres there for the visitors. Madden's kick drops in the 10 and Chris swallowed up immediately. Perfect set from the Broncos. Let's go to James Hooper on the sideline with what was said at halftime. Raiders coach Ricky Stewart really happy with their intensity, Dan, but he implored them, we've got to tidy up the errors and let's put some pressure back on the Broncos. For Brisbane, Kevy Walters was frustrated at their poor completion rate. They're only at 68% in the opening half, two of missed tackles. And just keep an eye on Ezra Mann, boys. He might have a bit of a stomach bug. As he ran out from the tunnel at halftime, he's had three or four up and unders physically ill out mm. on the field. You know, it's not normally nerves at halftime, is it? It's, uh, you see that often, well, particularly with Reese Walsh before the game, but yeah, that's uh, one to keep an eye on. Here's Selwyn Cobbo. Seems so long ago when he scored. There's been so much action. Good field position, though, for the Broncos. They've started this half well. The centre's getting involved. Stags, then Farnworth. And a set restart. Man, it almost opens up at the ball. An enormous play. Was that Matt Frawley who just threw himself there as at Billy Walters, who looked like he got in behind the, the Canberra defence? It was Mariotta. Out of Mariotta. Massive play from Mariotta. Walters stolen. Well, and also to hang on to it. He was in an awkward position, the big front rower. Walters was almost past him and opening up that Canberra defence there. There's now Patrick. He's been good tonight, Nick Kotrick. We've seen the best of him. Mariotta. So they might have started the second half with a great set, the Brisbane Broncos, but have fallen back into their trap and can't get to their fifth play on the set, next set. Well, this is the, the last. Frawley gets it away in time. Fogarty has to hurry the kick. It gives Kotrick a chance. Kotrick and Oates bounces back. Offside. Came off Oates, taken by Capel. Yeah, tough situation there for Kurt Capewell. The ball bounces towards you off. And even if you think your man's touched the ball, you, got you, to don't, do you, you, yeah, you don't just leave the ball <laughs> and allow the, the Raiders to pick it up. Corey Oates just got the contact there from Kotrick just didn't allow Oates to get to the ball, but Kotrick was going for, going for it himself. Yeah, there's another... Fox Ultra. 
just stopped him in his tracks, didn't all. Just well, couldn't get the hands out. Must have got a brush because you would have th you would have thought Oates would have challenged immediately, but uh, it's Canberra going for two here on the wide angle. Jamal Fogarty. So the Raiders, they did briefly see the lead. Uh, six points to four. And this would get them again a two-point lead. Uh, I think we just need to keep reminding ourselves and everyone listening what's on the line here. Canberra win. That is finals footy they're, they're for sure. Absolutely. They are in. Broncos win. They are likely minor premiers still to get through next week. He's having a good night. So many are having a good night. Jamal Fogarty, one of them, nails that. 18-16 Raiders take the first lead of the second half. He yeah, struck it beautifully there. So this is the live ladder. Now, <laughs> we are very early, relatively speaking, in this game. But if we give Canberra the win, 34 is more than enough. And that for and against wouldn't matter in regards to making the eight. And Brisbane... You see the for and against difference, them and the Warriors. Well, it still leaves Penrith on top. That's right. And but it comes into the final round as to who wins it. And if both teams win, if Brisbane do go on to lose this one, will Penrith have to for the differential to... And Canberra, you've got to wait and, and for every Brisbane kickoff now to make sure Canberra bring it back. We have a great 35 minutes left here, but we have one of the all-time great rounds coming up. Round There's never been a round 27. It starts with Broncos and Melbourne. That's going to be a full house, you'd think, at Suncorp. Broncos perhaps playing for the minor premiership by then. Mel could, be a, a, could be a rematch a week later. South and the Roosters on Friday night. You've got Canberra uh, playing Cronulla. That will be for something. Home finals. There'll be plenty on the line there, you would imagine. As you see, hit up here. It's a fantastic round. You've got to get Newcastle in there if, uh, if, if they have work to do. They play the Dragons. And that's a great round 27 coming up. And, of course, live and ad break here. And we have break free here on uh, on Fox. So Farnworth now. Things just settling down. And a bit of won't settle down for long though. Yep, pass. Bumping off. Looks like Hudson Young there. It was needed. Needed to be gang tackled as usual. Jordan Ricky. Almost getting into the 20. Not the cleanest play of the ball. Walsh goes to the air. Well, not the cleanest, and he's pulled it up. Yeah, it didn't, didn't look right. My word, they've made some errors at the play the ball area. The Broncos, plenty in the first half, continued on, but this yep. time they're going to challenge. Oh, yeah, you've asked to challenge. Just wait. Just wait. Okay, Joey. Chums from Broncos, on-field ruling was a knock on a dummy half on the fifth and last. Well, you thought it looked a bit suspect. I was watching who was going to kick the ball. Was it Madden or was it Reese Walsh? In the end, Reese Walsh put the, the kick in. It hit the hit the uprights. Fortunately for Canberra, as we watch Billy Walters... Mm. Uh, well, is it is it good enough to be overturned? So, hand on the ball. Yeah. That's good. Looks That's clean. Fine. Billy Walters picks up the ball cleanly. Looks clean. That's fine. The challenge is successful. We'll go back and play tackle five with Jordan Ricky. You would hope, Brandy, if they challenged that, then Billy Jordan. knew he picked it up correctly. And apologies to Penrith and Cowboys fans. I didn't mean to disrespect you. That game 5.30 next Saturday. So, it's that round. Half the games are going to have enormous meaning. Hot meaning. High kick. Ruffin up, puts it down, oh, it's up, it's and Mam's got it. Mam is over, but he's thrown back oh. into the field of play. Fogarty has saved it, but now a new set begins. And if Fogarty doesn't get off here, he's going to go to the bin. But Mam gets up hobbling, comes to Etherington. Mam's not right. As he limps back here to the line. Now he wafts over to the, the right side. Walsh is on the left, delays the pass. Fun 
Fine words against the sliding defense. Fine words again, they hold him out. Canberra desperate. Oats. Madden. Jensen setting it up here. Tackle number two. Back to the short side. Mams Grubber will be for the last. And it's stopped. It's stopped by the Raiders. Jamal Fogarty. He was man of the match in round six. He's having a pretty damn good night in round number 26. Well, the kick midway through the set can be a great play, but you've got to get the execution right. And Ezra Mam just finding Raiders legs on that kick on play three. Whiten beats a defender. Good charge. Gets it out to the 20. And how they survived that kick. Ezra Mam was in the in-goal area, and somehow the Raiders... We're able to drag him back into the field of play and deny him scoring that try. Well, inside the 40, that kick, but that was just all about distance. Cobbo winning the first attempted at tackle there from Young. Brisbane winning the field position battle early in this second half. But just the penalty goal from Fogarty, the only point so far. Pass back over halfway. One, two, three, make it four with Horsburgh. Love there from Adam G for Haas. Walsh, well, this time, he got himself entangled there. That doesn't happen all that often. Two plays left. Hetherington putting a space up the middle. Campbell waiting for a spread. Close enough for an attacking kick with Madden. Throwing it. Man, again, the grubber. Kotrick has to go back, and this time it's a good kick. And all Cotra can do is walk it over the side. Yeah, execution spot on that time from Ezra Mam. Jock Madden out to Mam, brought the defence up and then kicked into the corner. Cotrick had to turn and chase and did well to clean it up. Yes. As it angles out towards the winger, Corey Oates and Cotrick, big play from him. He's come up with a couple tonight. Pass 11 runs, 121 metres, so... 11 metres of run. Yeah. Just before half time, it was an enormous kick. This one, not so much, but they go long anyway. And they continue to back their defence. Flegler. Gets it away. Walters was waiting. Oh, shaped the kick. He fooled Gula and couldn't get... Couldn't get through Wolford with Rapina there as well, but only 10 metres out now. Madden, Walsh on the run. That time, not quite pinpoint. Cobo had to wait, so he'll try and do it all himself. Gets rid of Wolford, gets rid of Gula, gets around Whitehead, Fogarty. He does it again, Jamal Fogarty, and then leaves it for Timical to try and rip it out. Well, he's dangerous when he comes back on the inside, Selwyn Cobo. Oh, there's a tackle. There's a tackle. Jensen flipped over like an omelette by Papali'i. Ricky running a hard line. One tackle left. Canberra on the verge of surviving again. It's Madden to the air this time. And up they go. Canberra contending. I thought it was all a contest. The, the man who took a Timical was was interfered with while the ball was in the air. It's going to be a line dropout. Another repeat set here. The Brisbane Broncos. There's the shot from Papali'i on Corey Jensen. We've got to go. Oh, a little sneaky hand there from Farnworth, but whatever you can get away with. And it's a fourth line dropout from the Raiders. We're up in a there. Perhaps a little worried. Someone was going to be offside. Again, they go long. Flegler's lost it. A big Thank win you for Hudson Young. Oh, that's a big moment for the Raiders. They've absorbed some real pressure. They're going to challenge this, are they? 
No, I, I... Okay, mate. Oh, a little sneaky yeah, hand, and, and then perhaps doing in the, the tackle. Well, Broncos challenging the ruling of knock on on contact. And this is going to be a test here, that. perhaps for Grant Atkins, loose ball or or legitimate strip attempt. Well, he makes the tackle around the ball. Hudson Young is initially locked under, just affecting a tackle. After he gets shrugged off, he then makes an attempt to steal the ball. The challenge is successful. Well, you talk about big players. That, that could be one now in Brisbane's favour. Yeah. Penalty to them. Yeah, I, I thought the ball would just come free after the tackle because he did look to wrap it up. But there's, on replay, no doubt that that left hand snuck back up onto the ball as he was headed to the ground. So two in the tackle. Broncos, not the sort of side that would take two in this situation. Let's, yeah, see, yeah, what, let's see what their yeah. intentions are. Wait, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Flag got ball it's in a hand. Penalty, Billy. Wait. Oh, hang on. Now it's a penalty. It's, it's a, a penalty. penalty. So they thought it was a play the ball okay. one on yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, well, I've got the ball. I might as well tap it anyway. Yeah. So Brisbane now yes. would have been a kick 30 right, metres out. out. Wait, wait. It was a bit like park footy, wasn't it? Just, oh, well, the, ball, the bloke who's got it, just tap it and go anyway. 15 away with Hetherington at the line. Now the ball given some air. Stags doesn't move on, Chris. Some big air. Stags. They've taken him over the sideline. This is Shades of Suncorp in round six. Canberra doing it with their defence. Stags did Sebastian Chris cold and thought he could squeeze over in the corner. Yeah, backed himself, but there were three Raiders coming across. One of them, Jack White, and just to add some more weight to the tackle of Fawley. And Hudson Young and Canberra get the ball back. Listen to this crowd. It can be hard to stop in that situation. You're right, he, the footwork to beat Seb Chris gave him half a chance, but great defence from the inside. Now yeah, they're quieting down a little this Canberra Stadium crowd. I bet they're glad they came tonight. They've got an absolute corker. Well, look at that. Tackle inside the opposition half. Well, Canberra's only had two play the balls the other side of halfway so far. Almost 15 minutes into this second half. because there are similarities. They had more tackles in Canberra's 20 on that night, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Well, their strike rate was unbelievable in the first half. They had 11 tackles inside Canberra's 20 and scored three tries off the back of it from that area. They've had that many in the second half and Canberra's defense has been up to it. Yeah, fans out there wishing well, ill of the Raiders, North Queensland fans, for instance, as now here's uh, Tom Flegler. It's one of the paths for the Cowboys is they've got to win next week, but if Canberra drop both, they can go ahead of them. Here's Kobe Hetherington. It's the beauty of this end of the season, the ramifications. Tyson Smoothie into the contest. And Madden dishes off the impressive Pia Kuda. Inside the 20, look at that sharp play, the ball. Brisbane rolling now. Hetherington, there's a Raider on the ground. It's Papa Lee. He's wobbly. They're down a defender. As now, it's Farnworth for the line. And again, they get him. And they make sure he can't get it down. And it's yet again, Rockner is somewhere in the part of it. Oh, this is great stuff from Canberra. It's Under all sorts ball. of pressure. With Herbie. Well, as have found the in goal area three or four times in this period where they've had all the ball down this end of the field. Canberra's scramble has kept them in the game and kept them in the lead. But another chance here. Man, Farnworth to Timakor, Timakor. And look at the ball that's on the ground. It's going to be called a knock on. Change over here. Last tackle, and the Raiders do it again. 
Well, 24 minutes left, Dan. Uh, that is match-winning defence so far from Canberra. All the players been down this end of the field, and this Brisbane side that have scored more tries than any other team in the competition. So Tom Starling on, but thank you. Just a little pause here. This is a team that concedes 26 a game, and, and yet there are just certain nights when they really want it. They can turn it on defensively. Papa Lee, he, that was about 90 seconds ago, two minutes ago. He stayed down, so uh, not in a great way there. It was the Pia Kura. Yeah, collision with Emre right. Kula. Yeah, that, that. Pia Kura, the quick play of the ball, you thought was going to lead to something for the Brisbane Broncos, but Papa Lee. He... So he's clutching at the ribs, but you see the indication from the trainer, HIA perhaps. So. We'll get confirmation there, but we might have concerns on two fronts. The Canberra really are doing it tough out of their own end. The, the kick is finding the 40 metre line the other side of halfway. That's what they needed. The Raiders needed a penalty to try and swing momentum their way because it's all been Brisbane. And the defence of the Raiders has been mighty. Six tries in the first half, none in the second. Stony faced Kevin Walters. You would have heard sounds like this in the 90s when he was a player when these two clubs, these epic, epic sides, went toe to toe in that wonderful era. Putting on a great show tonight, Gary Tarpanet. Starling, falls back, neat pass but well read, that's Pia Kura, gets better by the week with the tackle there on Gula, Frawley back inside, Whiten comes in from the centres, spots an opening, gets past Flegler, then he gets past Walsh, oh Flegler comes back, now desperation for the Broncos, but Whiten goes again, one tackle left, Canberra haven't been down here for a long time, Fogarty's kick, ricochets, it was a heavy kick, and it's going to be a great result for the team in green. That had a fair bit on it. Jensen falls on the ball in the in goal. But now it's Canberra's turn to attack. Yeah, back on the inside, Jack White and just sliding between Brisbane defenders. Fleckler came again after missing him originally. And then the kick. The leg out and Corey Jensen cleans things up. Short sure. one. Dropped by Chris, but did he hold it? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He was falling back. An angle we had. It looked close, but looks like he's conceded on that one. That he puts it down. So Walsh getting plenty of air on that. You see the angle he kicked it at too, and it was a bit telecoptery. Oh yeah. And yeah. No doubt he's put that down. Yeah, I thought it might have fallen into his lap, but he. Uh, yeah, there's the error. And the Raiders finally get some field position, Dan, after a, a great run from Jack White. And Brisbane wrestled momentum back immediately through a, a, a kick from Reese Walsh that caused the error. Crowd trying to get their side home. But we still have 21 minutes to go. We know there's going to be plenty more twists than this. Broncos have only lost five all year. If they were to lose again, Canberra would have two of the six losses that Brisbane have suffered. Madden at the line, Pia Kura, and the three defenders. Again, he gets that play the ball away so quickly as Flegler linking up with Capel. It's going to be a contest. Cobo coming through. He and Staggs got tangled up there and comes away harmlessly for the Raiders. He probably wanted to land that kick a little closer to the try line. Just pushed it across field. Jock Madden. Good run from Seb Chris there. Gets out to the 30. 
Raiders' strength is not their last 20 usually, but this feels like a different sort of night. Starling trying to bamboozle the markers. And we'll see her back in the game involved in that tackle. Geez, plenty of space for Young, who's flipped up that stags. And the ball is a knock-on. The ball is called a knock-on, and another big defensive play. This time it's Katoni. We got up underneath, uh, underneath Hudson Young there. And just as he tipped him sideways, Young's come up with an error. Ball gone. No problem with the tackle. His argument may be it went backwards, but not according to Adam G. Broncos have, have used two challenges, won them both. Canberra yet to use theirs, so both uh, are still av both uh, available there. No teams can still trigger at least one more challenge. Farnworth now bringing it back. Good challenge for the Broncos two weeks out from the finals. They've coasted through the last few weeks, just decimating sides. Not tonight. Now Palacio at the line. Madden escapes the rushing young. Walsh has got a chance, gives it to Stags. Early ball, Cobo. Cobo! Selwyn Cobo glides his way to the line. And the Broncos back in front. Well, you can't give Walsh any room, and you especially can't give Cobbo space down the sideline. Yeah, he just held it up long enough, Reese Walsh, just positioning his players on the outside beautifully to get them down that touch line. And we've seen a number of errors prove very costly for both sides. Hudson Young spilling the ball, giving the Broncos possession around halfway the speed of Katoni Staggs gets him in behind Seb Chris and almost impossible to stop in that situation the big winger Selwyn Cobos Walsh again holds it up drags Whiten in it's a carbon copy although the movement was a, a bit different from Walsh he just went directly at Whiten dragged in two defenders they create he creates the overlap Great from this angle. Jock Madden does masterfully well to, to dodge the defence coming at him. Katoni Staggs quickly out to Cobbo, who had the speed to evade the, the cover defence, and then the footwork to get past Jordan Rapina. Second Jordan. try, Cobbo, third try assist for Reese Walsh. Hang on, what have we got yeah, here? Rapin is in trouble. Yeah, Let's listen. It. It. So, uh, it's been reviewed. It's a deliberate action and a kick out that makes contact. It's on report in the bin. Well, a big twist now. Jordan Rapin has entered the bin. Well. A deliberate kick out. And it said Adam G. Well, let's see, are we looking at eight point try? No, because he. Oh, it's just an attempted trick. Oh boy. Yeah. So, Jordan Rapina was a big factor in their last meeting, and now he's in the bin. Oh, he's been one of their best players, did he? Has he? Has he? Certainly don't need him sitting, in the, sitting on the sidelines for 10 minutes. And Stags, this one's not coming back. 20 to 18 to Brisbane, 16 and a half to go. Now Canberra's tough. They've got to hold this margin for the next 10 minutes. No, it's a two-point ball game and the fullback's just done something crazy. And, and he can do, like, he's, he's a great player, Jordan Rapp, and be, he can have those moments and he's had a couple of them in the end goal in recent weeks. Pictures tell it all. Broncos have had this scenario for 40 minutes this year. 13 against 12. They've scored 34 points. 
The last Raider to be pinned, I believe, was Jordan Rapina against uh, Melbourne. Yes, it was a couple of weeks ago, and they conceded 10 that day. So, the, the, oh, hello, Horsburgh's down. What's happened here? Horsburgh's down. And there's some real concern. Flegler runs it straight into Horsburgh. Point of the shoulder, it's oh dear. Well, Flegler runs with violence, he runs with so much force, that's what makes him such a tough play to tackle. Joe, are you going second mark? He's paying a price there, Corey Horsburgh. Now, he's okay. That's pretty cool. There's one out. What will Bru Brisbane's intentions be here? Slender lead, a chance to really blow it open. Get up there, hey. With Smoothie providing for Jensen. Very good leaders, these, with conservative plays. Back for Flegler, another forceful run. Well over 10 metres. Wanted to offload, but held on to it. Madden. Pretty standard set that and Sebastian Chris at the back now Position he's really filled all year it was only The last game he played before this he was moved back out to the centers So well accustomed to playing in that custodian role white not going far And even the uh, powerful Kotrick put down quickly they're in quicksand here, the Raiders, Timical. They're up quick, Brisbane. They're moving quick. It's a better run, but still a lot of ground to cover. Tarpany. We need every bit of Fogarty's boot here. Madden puts some pressure on. And Walsh takes it on the full. Strong defence. Imre Ghoul there and was first to meet Walsh. So a couple of minutes gone with Rapiner in the bin. Still so much time to survive. And it's Farnworth carting it up. Palacia back inside. Here's Flegler breaking away. He's been threatening a run like that all night. On the 10, it comes away to Jensen. Oh, he pops it back, ma'am. That's a brilliant bit of scramble. Could have been a disaster, but comes away to Farnworth. Now Farnworth explores. Crashes past Gula. Ball put down. Well, some panic about the Broncos. Trying to force the issue with the extra man. Well, you're right about Ezra Mam just coming up with a, a play on the other side of the field that kept the ball going. Farnworth picked up the bouncing ball, gets into a position to offload. Selwyn Cobbo infield, just can't pick it up. Well, down to 12 men. They know that there was some space somewhere, desperately trying to find it, but come up with an error in doing so. So just take the... So this all the heat off the Canberra Raiders. This is, I'm sure you and the crew... Uh, in the studio at the southern end we'll discuss this after the game when there's time to to marinate on it but if Canberra don't win and stay on 32 there's some wide ramifications and it brings a whole heap of other uh, possibilities into play for the uh, remaining round and a half of the competition you saw there Brisbane top spot Starling sprints Flegler He's had a second half, there. hasn't he? Flegler. Yeah, There's a great run from Flegler down the middle to almost create a chance for Brisbane. And then through the hands. Here's Fogarty taking on Capel. Capel up to the challenge. So job done for the Raiders. Get through the set, wipe off some time. Walsh. What's he spotted here? He spotted Timakor. Bucks away from him. Gets past Whitehead. Gets to Starling. Now gets past two more. This is electric. This is Reese Walsh at his best. But Sebastian Chris with a tackle. 
Well, he's beaten five Canberra defenders there in a 30-metre run. That's got Brisbane. Madden. Madden gets it on. Cobbo's already got two. There's no one in front of him. So what? Cobbo will score. And Cobbo off the back of a magnificent, outrageous Reese Walsh run. Cashes in with his third. Oh, there's something else, the Broncos. Yes, they've got an extra man, but they are so exciting. Yeah, they've been able to keep Reese Walsh out of the game in this second half, and we're, we're down to the final 11 and a bit minutes, but Reese Walsh's run here. Just watch it. And watch how many Canberra defenders. One, two, three. Horsburgh, four. Couldn't get to him. Has a go. Gets past Fogarty, five. Tackled by Seb Chris. A 30-metre run. A quick play the ball. They throw it out to the right-hand side. Madden does a good job. Throws the dummy, brings Jack Whiten up, who's playing on the left, on the wing. And Selwyn Cobbo, enough speed. He wondered if Chris was going to get across, but Selwyn Cobbo put the foot down. And back-to-back -back tries for the Broncos. Six-point lead with a kick to come. I thought his right hand went a bit close. No, plenty of room. Except Chris arrives, but too late. Brilliant stuff from both Cobbo oh, and Reese Walsh. It's ridiculous that Cobbo can be so big and, and powerful, yet so elegant when he runs. Sideline kick, this is big. 24 18. And it's Katoni Staggs. A mixed night, but lots of kicks from this sort of spot. And they get wider. So 24 18 for the Raiders, at least it keeps them within one score. Still 10 and a half to go. Still six minutes, or about four minutes left now with Rapina in the bin. And Papali'i. Well, that's a good sign that he's back. And as we go down to James Hooper, what have you got, Jimmy? Plenty happening down here on the sideline. You know it's serious when the Raiders coach Ricky Stewart makes his way down to the sideline. And good news for the Raiders, you can see Josh Papali past that HIA assessment. He's back into the fray. Yeah, so Corey Horsburgh, the man off. Because there were a few stoppages. Uh, and actually, in, in that sense, it worked in Papali's favour. A uh, favour, 15 minutes of real time, but. Not as much game time wiped off as could have been, so at least he's now in for the last ten and a half. Now the Raiders really do have to hold their nerve these next few minutes. They can't let the Broncos get another. Devin Piakura, every run he challenges the defensive line. Cobo, by the way, third hat trick this year against Manly and against the Dolphins, and now against Canberra. Here's Jensen. Another very good contribution from him. Well over 100 metres. Pal Palacia. Talking of good contributors, that'll get him over 100 metres. Payne Haas. Dropped down. It was a strong legs tackle. Fogarty again. And pretty decent defensive set. Looked at Brisbane. Wanted to chance their hand too often. Whiten, he's, he's threatening, isn't he, Jack Whiten? And now Piakura, that Top might get one. the Docs' attention there. Same he's stumbled about. Well, enough for the referee to blow the stop play. So he's walked away from the trainer, back to the middle. Oh, jeez. Oh, just got the elbow. Oh. You reckon the, you reckon the Docs having a look at that one? We'll wait and see. Didn't do Canberra any favours. That they looked like they were just about to start the set with a nice little roll on. Yet to score a try in this second period. They need one in the last nine minutes. Excellent run there from Gould. Yeah, and got six more. He earned that. Full set to work with. It can wipe off some time as well and get them a chance. Papali'i to the 30. Smoothie hangs on. 
crowd has been raucous all night. Here's Fogarty, a wild one. Kotrick settles, steps inside Mann, steps inside Farnworth, steps inside Capel. His very good night continues. Tarpanen with footwork and the offload. Starling to Frawley. What's Frawley seen? He saw pain in front of him and then slipped the pass. Starling back inside, wide head. Captured on the 10. This would be something if they could score with a man down. Tarpanen. Six more tackles. Oh, but he's trying to pass. It's going to be a penalty. Pete Haas has grabbed his hand. He's looking to the trainers. Oh, I, it must be a dislocated finger. Yeah. Now, what's uh, Adam G doing here? He's walking over here again, and, and the crowd probably has every right here to say, well, come on, we want to go here. You see there, continues to be treated. You did so that you had a paper cut the way he reacted to that. Dislocation, for goodness sakes. Here come the Raiders. Starling, Fogarty, Whitehead again, cuts back in field. And again, well dealt with. Walsh flirting there with another six again. Guler at the line, Bubba Lee. Great tackle, Pia Cora around the waist. Starling, Gula. That burns a tackle. Two left. White, he's on the left. Hasn't seen it this set. Here's a little grubber again, the ricochet, and Walsh taps it over the back. And now it's the Broncos under pressure. Yeah, if nothing else, they'll get the ball back, unless Brisbane try the short one. Fogarty's kick again, ricochet off the foot of Kurt Capewell, Reese Walsh giving it every chance, but it had already come off Capewell, so just knocked it dead. Jordan Rappiner back on the field now, back to 13. Well, they started one score down, they still remain one score down with Rappiner, and now they get it back. So the margin went from two to six, but they're still in it, and now it's 13 on 13. Oh, hang on, Adam G. What's going on here? Oh, a penalty, Brisbane! Yeah, well, it must have come up a camera play. Oh, no, they're saying that he was held back. No thought of a challenge. Well, hang on, are they going to challenge? It definitely came off Cotto's hand, and that's why the referee called play on. He's coming into one. We'll need better angles than that. And, uh, in terms of showing what... Well, this is, this is the touch judge that's made the call. Yeah, and he's right there. That first angle didn't show anything that looked illegal. So now going with the wide shot. So Young. Oh, geez, that's a, that's, touches him, that, barely that is ticky-tack. Barely. But he does oh, touch him. Well, I know he touches him. Eyes for Selwyn Cobbo. But he doesn't really He runs across him. the ball and denies Selwyn, oh, Selwyn oh. Cobbo an opportunity to catch the ball. The challenge is oh, unsuccessful. Oh, 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 oh. You think he changed the line of Selwyn Cobbo? He ran back towards, not not directly towards the ball, but did he force Cobbo to go around him? I, I don't know if he did. Grant Atkins sounded like he, he, he struggled to get those words out there. I mean, it, it, it's correct, but boy, it's soft. You can't get penalised for the contact that he just made. The words were denied Cobbo the opportunity. Well, I don't think he did, but... The, 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 the judge at home. Still six and a half to go. I'll say this, there's no doubt Young had eyes only for Cobbo. That is without doubt. Well, you can look at a player. Yeah, that's, that's not illegal. <laughs> He's uh, Palacia. 24-18 is now Jensen again. Tough carry. Back there comes Walsh. Walsh. Whiten tries to jump the free ball free. Well, he was successful, but Walsh still hung onto it. 
No starting of the tackle count. Restarting. It's going to be a play of the ball. Well, if he lost the ball into a Canberra player, it would have been Canberra's ball. And that's what White was claiming, and of course, playing off dead. So Adam G obviously thought that he controlled it, bobbled it, but didn't touch a Canberra player. Not that Canberra could. Oh, field goal. Walsh to put him up by seven. Walsh strikes it. Nailed it. And never in depth. Reese Walsh with his first field goal. He can do it all, the kid. And the margin bleeds out the seven. That's a big kick. No one was expecting it. Starling coming out to put pressure on. He couldn't have hit it any better, Reese Walsh. Just turned his back and walked back towards the halfway. That's a big play after controlling the ball and Nelly losing it. And then two plays later kicks the field goal to give them a seven-point lead. Getting desperate now, the Raiders. Two scores, less than five left. That's not going to go the 10. That needs a bounce. It's getting away quickly. And now the Broncos can just about, well, they can finish it off. And if they get another one here. Well, they can just make sure the ball stays down this end of the field there. They've got plenty of time. What are they talking about? They're going to kick for touch. Well, it, it just puts into further focus the penalty that went against the Raiders. Hudson Young interfering with Selwyn Cobbo. And, well, Jared Croker, first time in his 307-game career, comes off the bench. And uh, it's going to be a strange farewell. His last game here at Canberra Stadium. I guess they can still get a home final. They'll have to do the sums after the game. But if they don't win this, it makes it incredibly hard. You know, he's worried about just making the finals. So now, Broncos with Haas. Away to Madden. Here's Walsh. Look at it open up for Reese Walsh. He's too good. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. It's exquisite. It's electric. Walsh, the wonder. Now he's got to try to go with his field goal. Ooh. And his three try assists. But hang on. Now what's happened? What has happened here? Clutching at the knee. Well... Yeah, just the inside of the knee there. The acceleration. I, I, I don't think we've seen anyone like Reese Walsh accelerate through defensive lines. Well, I, I can't remember anyone else doing it like Reese Walsh does it. On a weekend where we've seen Jerome Luai, Jerome Hughes, Luke Metcalf, Joey Manu all injured. Well, this would be the biggest one of them all, but he doesn't seem too concerned as he strolls back with the rest of the team. Madden just holds the pass up and then Walsh just sees open space and Matt Frawley has had a nightmare trying to defend the speed of Reese Walsh tonight. So and, and, and that's no knock on Matt Frawley. Most would. Yeah, happens every week, Brandy. So... Well, he's that, in pain now. He's, yeah. So obviously, when he, it, as he bursts through that Canberra defensive line, there's some sort of he's landed awkwardly as during the run. Well, it's two minutes to go. This would really end it. Stags, gee, he started the night reasonably well. He's kicking. So 11, the margin, and it looks like Walsh is going to stay out there. <laughs> He's had some fabulous nights tonight. This is just about top of the list. Uh, fabu fabulous nights this year. Well, that tells you everything, the fact that he's staying out there. If there, if there was any sort of problem with Reese Walsh looking towards next week and the game against the Melbourne Storm, he'd be off the field. So that really has taken the air out of this uh, Canberra Stadium. Once transpired the last well, 10 minutes. You know, this one goes the 10. Problem. Not even close to landing in the field of play. 
Well, they don't deserve to be blown out here, Canberra, but it's just completely fallen apart. Let's go, guys. Jock, thanks. Well, well careful. Careful. Indeed. A game without that. Stephen Willard, Willie Beeman, Bruce Walsh. And the key is he's, he's real little, still out there. And hang on, now it looks like he's going to hobble off. And he is, there is real hobble on him. Mm. We've got to wait for that to cool down, don't we? Just to see. And oh! Yeah. Oh. We've got a tough defence. We've got. We've got uh, reverses of fortune at the other end. Walsh standing still, by the way. It's going to be a big part of the post game. Just uh, the result there is far enough. Well, whatever the problem is, Dan, I, I, I don't think it's, it's major. He, he'd be off the field. He would have been off the field before he walked back. Yeah. To take the kick off. Now that ball's come out. It's a knock on. And with 42 seconds left, they'll, they'll have time to pack the scrum, but not much else. Walsh continues to struggle off. And, and uh, it's got to win particularly late, but it's become a weekly feature. Uh, the, uh, the reversal as we have a captain's challenge here with the Broncos two from two in this department. So we're claiming strip, are we? Let's see. As he Jordan Rafa just has his hand yeah. around the ball carrier. The ball carrier moves his body away, which results in a lost ball. The challenge is unsuccessful. Keenan Palacia has really uh, rolled his sleeves up. 122 metres. Tom Flegler, 14 runs, 140 metres. Corey Jensen, 140 metres. So some of the unheralded Broncos have really made a contribution on a night that will belong to Reese Walsh and Selwyn Cobbo. Jock Madden, another win for him in the number seven roll. So another win. It's going to be seven straight. Hold in, hold in, Brendan. And Walsh racing up there to put contact on. Jared Croker. So Croker gets a touch. Here's a bit of desperation from Rapino. Walsh is back there. Well, he's still got a hobble on him. Oh, now. And now that's going to get the Broncos rolled up. Jerry Tarkini. He was fair game, Walsh. But it still was a strong tackle that the Broncos did not like. And that'll be the end of that. Well, it's been... It's been played with a short fuse all night. Now with Canberra really letting their frustrations out, Fogarty and Madden are lining up. They're, then they've got company. There's the big ball you can see in front of you on your big screen. No love lost. Some are shaking hands. Now the rest of them that were entangled come apart. So Walsh gave up on this. And for a brief moment, Bruce Walsh was a tackling bag that was just too good to refuse for Joey Tarpany. Well, it's appropriate the game ends with drama because the game has been full of drama. Fantastic skill in the first half. Brisbane grind out another win, seven in a row. And they are 80 good minutes away from their first minor premiership in 23 years. A couple of Queenslanders coming together. Here's another one. Kurt Capel. What a game on Thursday. Broncos can win the minor premiership against a team they haven't beaten for years. The stage is set there. But here at Canberra Stadium, GIO, it was the Broncos 29, the Raiders 18.